any song I hear, I can play it. I listen to the melody first. And then I listen to the chorus. I play what I hear on the keys. I'm Dorian Hogan, and I'm 17 years old. What I like to play? Yeah, what was your fir the first song you played? What was it? It was Thinking About You by Frank Ocean. Like I had a um, piano in the back, and I'm like, I can practice that song. It sounded real nice. I was like messing up a lot, but then I kept on practicing and practicing. And then I started every every right note I hit that sound right to me. I keep I keep that at note and play it again and just add on to it. First classical I learned was um, Fred Elise. Fred Elise, yeah. It, it took like a whole day, but it took a day still. No, I can't read music. I just know the letters. I know this is an A, B, C, D, E, F, G. That's about it. I sat there and I watched him and, and I saw the passion that he had for music. It's in his heart. Like, you could tell that he wants that badly. Could you imagine having a studio teaching these kids the craft of music engineering, recording engineering, and how to play instruments, how to record music, how to uh, arrange music. So we were trying to figure out how to make a nice, quiet study space, and then that turned into, okay, so then we can also do a sewing room so they can make their own uniforms. Oh, and then there's this little room in there, and they had some guitars and a piano. And she's like, oh, and this is the music room. And I'm like, this is not a music room. So I call the people I love most in the entire world, Jeff and Julie Bass. Jeff Bass, <laughs> uh, let's see, Lose Yourself, uh, Grammys. And I'm like, look, so I just need to know that foam stuff that you put on the walls, and then I want to, you know, and I'm telling them what I want to do. They walk in, they were like, you're not doing that. We got this. And that is how it happened. We had our people who um, built our studios were kind enough to donate their time. We're bringing in lots of equipment, recording equipment, keyboards, guitars. We're going to get someone down here that can actually run a class for them, show them yeah. how to use Pro Tools, and teach them a trade so that when they leave here, they have something else in their toolbox. And it's another way for you guys to look forward to doing something as a career in your life. And it doesn't mean you have to play the instruments. That's a bonus if you can. But there's a whole other side of the industry that's important that everybody uses, which is a recording studio. We're going to have lessons in here of how to do engineering, why we do engineering, and hopefully it, it sparks something in some of you that um, you can use as a creative tool. Music brings so much joy, and music is literally the score of everybody's lives. Everybody's born with a unique gift, everybody. But you have to tap into what your unique gift is. So it's just, it's inspiring for me to see an, uh, up and coming kids and because we became successful in our lives, this is a perfect opportunity to give back. I just feel lucky about it. Like not, that's one out of a like million to get a famous person to just come out of the blue and just help. This is another opportunity for kids to showcase their talent and to bring about some talent, bring it to the surface that you might ne not necessarily see. So this is another outlet for them to use that, that talent or to, to, to explore that talent more, you know what I mean? So. It's another great asset to have on, 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 on site. It's a great asset. I've never had like a tool. Yeah, tool or like I never had the money to pay to use someone else's studio equipment. So it was never like I could go to the studio whenever I wanted to. And then school, and then everything else, the problems at home, it was never time. I wrote songs like to like certain instrumentals and like it's just like an opportunity. I'm just grateful. That's all. That's, I'm grateful. And I love, I'm happy that they made the studio. Let's go.